I believe we are officially live on Facebook. So thank you guys for tuning in today. If you're here with us now, make sure you give us some thumbs up and some hearts. Please, like throughout the time, give some thumbs up and thumb and hearts. I don't think it's going to be hard to do because I have Joe Dune here with us today, Steps Marketing. He's going to be dropping a ton of awesome content. I know it. And so you probably won't be able to help yourself, but give some thumbs up and hearts, but do it anyhow, make sure we can hear us loud and clear. This is kind of our sound check also. Well, I appreciate that, Jeff. That's really a nice introduction there. I, I, I teed it up, man. And I know you'll deliver. So I, uh, but no, man, you're, you're a marketing. I think the title somewhere said marketing genius, D Joe Dune. And I think someone came up with that. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take credit for it this time. I think I've heard it before also. That's how I got introduced to you. And uh, I always get a ton of value from our conversations and good ideas. And uh, and I think today is going to be great for basically anybody that's in real estate, anybody that's in, well, anybody that's wants to have a so online presence, period, I think is going to get a ton of value out of your, your, uh, your info today. Oh, thanks. I mean, it's basically all just common sense, but I think a lot of people... Um, don't realize the power of social media and especially nowadays. I mean the just a stat that just came out was 35% increased internet usage in the last two weeks and obviously that's understandable because people are home and you know, what are they doing? They're on the internet. So let's uh, let's take advantage of what we can. Cool. So today Joe is basically going to help me and help you and help everybody that's watching watching um, make the best use out of your time while on social media, right? Like make the biggest impact. Absolutely. I mean, it's very simple to do too. I mean, you basically just show up and connect with people and that's going to be the theme of this entire uh, little web episode is going to be connection uh, creates conversions essentially. So if you're a business, a real estate, you're just any business, um, you want to just create connections and that's all we're going to do. And I'm going to show you and walk you through some of this, uh, these formulas that I've come up with on social media and I think it'll be very easy to implement and everybody should get a lot of value out of it. Cool. Well, I uh, I thought to kick us off, I've been trying to do something fun for every uh, every tribe call, which by the way, that's totally what this is. I, I don't know if you're aware, but um, I have I have a solid tribe. I believe that in these times, you know, who you connect with on the regular, who you get your information from and who just who you surround yourself with is so important. So thank you for being a part of my tribe. This is our tribe calls. Uh, so everybody that's watching is, is a part of my tribe as well. Um, but I wanna kick off the tribe call with something fun here. And you actually uh, mentioned this group. They're killing it on social media. They do a great job of connecting with their people. And I'm gonna just stop talking because, well, you'll see. Let's make it happen. That's fun. <laughs> That's, that is fun, right? <laughs> that guy give Brandy a shout out later. Yeah. So what they're doing is just providing like a fun outlet for people and giving an idea of something to do. Uh, people got lots of comments and likes for that. I mean, it's super fun. And anybody, any business can can participate in things like that. 
hundred percent. And what I, what I thought was awesome about it. And Kurt, I mean, I'm sure this is something that you would, you would teach as well as like at the end, it wasn't like, Hey, look at us. It was, Hey, what are you doing right now? Right? Absolutely. I mean, the whole point of being social and I'm going to hammer this throughout this whole episode is going to be the connections and to do, to be social. I mean, if you're a person in real life and you're like, Hey, check out this cool dance. And people would be like, oh, that's really cool. Like, let me share that with somebody. Let me let me do my, my own dance and do a little dance off. I mean, that's just, I think a lot of people forget that there's a back and forth on social media. It's not who can come up with the best content and who can get the most likes. That's just one side of the story. The other side of the story is, you know, what kind of connections are you building? What kind of shareability are you, are you bringing to the table? Yeah. Well, um, all right. So I know you have, I know you have some examples, other examples of things that, that people are doing well. Um, so I thought maybe if this, all right, maybe let's, let's go through a couple of examples of, of good content that people are putting out there. And then I want to jump into your, your formula because you have actionable, a step-by-step plan for people to get into action, connect with people and build their business through, through social media. Absolutely. Cool. So, um, yeah, so I guess a couple, um, just locally in the Sacramento area, I've just been seeing a lot of, um, I haven't been on the internet a lot too. So I've been seeing a lot of fun content coming out of local businesses. Um, maybe just to name a few, and then we can drop a link here just to show people. Yeah. Um, so I have Roseville meat company. Um, they've been doing a great job. I mean, they, they do a lot of fun memes and posting stuff, but they also do talk about, um, you know, what they're offering cleanliness of their store how it's important especially right now um but they just come out with content that is fun and people comment on it um if you're a meat eater i mean people just love to share they're like oh i can't wait to have a steak or you know this marinated chicken so they've been coming out with some really good content and they are a butcher shop so if i mean you can apply this to any business it's just a matter of coming up with the content that is best for you if you're a hairstylist, tips, if you're a, doesn't matter what you are. If you're a janitor, you'd be like how to clean an oven, you know, and people would be super thrilled to share that with people and tag people in it. So um, if you have a link here, you can see what they're posting. It's, it's really fun. And so yeah. I, I like to engage on their page too. Yeah. We'll make sure to drop the link. I have it up on my screen. Can you guys see my screen right or can you see my screen? I can see your screen. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure to drop the links too. I, I love it. Like, first of all, that's awesome. Like trying to eat healthy salad with bacon bits. Um, perfect. And hey, on the, on the, um, on the hairstylist thing, like what about like some crazy, like I've seen pictures of people posting their own haircuts right now. Oh yeah. Like, especially like Tiger King haircuts, you know, like with a mullet or whatever. My neighbor just did one. He was, he has short hair anyways, but he just like grew it out for a couple of days to do a little mullet. It's super fun. And um, it just, it adds to the levity, especially people being home right now. Um, and anybody in any business can provide value. I mean, that's really what you do on a daily basis anyways. So it's just talking about your knowledge, your expertise. Um, you don't have to make it funny or fun, um, but just coming from a place of value and not expecting something in return. That I think is a big selling point. Uh, to not sell, uh, believe it or not. So if you're a hair hairstylist, you know, there's going to be a lot of times where people can't come see you right now. Um, and so maybe give some hair tips on how to keep your hair, you know, how to grow it out appropriately, or it doesn't matter what it is, um, but just come from a place of value. Sure. Yeah. As, yeah. Use, use the time wisely, right? Like n now that you have some time. Um, are any other examples that you want to show? I know we mentioned, you mentioned a couple earlier, but yeah, I think I had one. Um, it's MH Fitness. This is used one of my gym uh, places I used to go to in Chico when I lived there. And uh, it's this guy, Micah Hankins, and he's great. And he comes out with content um, all the time. And so since he's a gym and you want to go work out there and you can't right now, he's doing a lot of exercises, how to do, um, you know, form and function appropriately. This is I mean, that's kind of an obvious one. A lot of people are doing virtual gyms right now, but he is coming from a place of, um, of value by providing 
hey, these are some workouts that you can do with minimal equipment. This is some body weight exercises. These are some ways you can eat healthier. Um, so anyways, that's a that's another great example of good content. And if you took the time to check out his page, he also, which is gonna be the key, responds to like every single comment. So I always tell my clients, you gotta show up for your audience. And if they're asking stuff, if they're liking your, your post or sharing it, you have to thank them or respond to them just like you would in real life. If someone was like, hey, Jeff, like, how do I know how much my home is worth? And then you never responded. That's not a very good business person. So same thing on social media. If people are commenting on your posts and your content, show up and comment back, send direct message. Like, all right, so if they comment something like, what what sometimes i just don't know what to comment back you know i'm like co like cool or like hey that's awesome love it yeah i really love it a lot i really do love it but <laughs> but you know i say that a lot it's very difficult i mean especially if you have a popular post and people are posting all types of stuff i mean even if it's like your birthday i mean people will say happy birthday jeff you know it's like Hey, thanks. I really appreciate you taking the time. If you did that for every single post, every person, it can get monotonous or time consuming, but it's, it's still important to connect to people. I mean, if someone came up to you on the street and they knew it was your birthday and they said, Hey, Jeff, happy birthday. You wouldn't ignore them. That'd be rude. So it's the same thing. I mean, like, even if you said the same thing, as long as they're acknowledged, I think is the important part. Um, people like to get, kudos they like to be interacted with so it's important to do it even if it's the same so love it okay <laughs> love, love it, it. <laughs> love it thanks joe all right yeah um so yeah i'm gonna i'll definitely do a, a bit better at uh you know more saying more than just uh love it unless they drop hbd on my timeline for a happy yeah happy birthday. that's the laziest laziest yeah. way you can do it yeah um want to do another fun example love i one. do Okay, let's do, let's check out Palmer signs. Okay, I got him. What is that? I want to click that so that's, bad. That's like uh, from Hannibal Silence Lamp. of the Lambs. Yeah. yeah. Click it. All right, cool. Let's do it. It's a funny one. I think it says, if the food runs out, <laughs> I think we, at least we still have each other. So, I okay. mean, obviously, I don't know if they create these memes or just share them or whatever, but it's funny. People yeah. have a reaction to it. Um, and they're always kind of posting fun and lighthearted stuff, but they also do provide a lot of value. Um, they oftentimes will showcase a sign or a, a wrap that they're doing on trucks and local businesses. Um, recently they did a fire truck. And so they were like, Hey, any kids in the neighborhood uh, that want to check out a fire truck? Like we're doing a cool wrap. So come on by. Um, it's really cool. Okay. It's cool. Like it. And they do a lot of engagement. And like they're, they're a sign, they're a sign company, right? Like they're, uh, right. and so, yeah, it's awesome. I, I guess part of my thing is like, man, I'm trying to post stuff that, that, you know, means something to real estate, but also maybe there is some value in just dropping in some fun stuff from time to time. Absolutely. And right now, I think maybe even a week ago, maybe it's softened up a bit, but a lot of people would come to me even and say, Hey, what should I post? Like, should I post some stuff about COVID-19? And I just said, like, I don't think so. I mean, there's so much stuff out there right now about it. I mean, you can just, I mean, every morning I get my phone and my Apple news is like telling me a billion stories, you know, uh, and uh, people aren't immunologists and such they're just, they're running their business and, and everybody is, I think right now, tired of getting COVID-19 stuff. Like everyone's doing their part, they're doing their best. Right. And so, and it's not trying to take advantage of people or, or capitalize on anything. It's basically just staying on top of mind. I mean, everyone has to run a business and basically, I think you said it, Jeff was, uh, the strategies changed, but the fundamentals are the same. And you probably agree with this. It's like, nothing's changed about how we interact and do business with each other. It's just the way we're doing it right now is a little bit different. Same so, game, different playground. Cool. I got to like, 
in the comments, if you're watching this, please post like what what is the first word you see? <laughs> I want to know who's going. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I do. I told like I, I I took a note about what you said, but I also totally squirreled and got stuck on this for a second there. So that's a, this is good, good content because it keeps me distracted. I guess. So. All right. That's what we need sometimes is just get distracted. You know, if you get distracted on someone's business stuff, then it's great. Cool. Um, all right. I'd like to, for the sake of time, because I want to jump into actionable. It's like, this is fun, right? I think we all know that we all get it, right? Post something that if, if, cause really we're talking about kind of content here, like, right. And then we also address like engage with people. So, you know, maybe don't be so rigid about what, uh, what you're posting. It doesn't necessarily have to have to be about your business, um, but just look for an opportunity to connect with people and then engage. That's the gist of that, right? That is the gist, yeah. And the thing is, a lot of people, if they're thinking about like what to post, even if it's like today I shared you know, a funny video, I just shared a, a post and I comment on it. And that is still counts as your content because you're putting out your annotation to it. And so if you see something funny that you like, or you see something of value that you want to share, do it and comment on it. And that's your content um, because it's all coming from you. And especially if you have a business page, try to post stuff um, on your business page too and share it. That way you can see um, statistics and see if there's growth there and, and engagement. You can't do that from a personal profile. Is there such thing as like, and I, all right is now do we have to be careful about what i'm posting right now i um i just imagine always yes okay but but not so much i mean you always want to be sent i mean it's just regular if you went to a grocery store and you started like talking nonsense like it's i want people to understand that social media is an extension of you right you're going to be social and how you act normally like i'm a funny silly guy I like sharing funny, silly stuff. If you're not that type of person, don't share that type of stuff because it's not reflection of you. You know, you want to maintain a good personal brand. Um, another thing I wanted to mention before we go deep on how to respond to people is the difference between stories and regular content posts. It's real quick. Is mostly the stories are going to be the things that are quick and everyday and and part of your daily life, because it's going to really be coming from your native device, usually your phone. Um, so post those things that you're doing. Like I posted the other day about like my workstation, um, people post about like what they're doing with their kids or crafts. That's really great stuff to connect to your audience in any business. It doesn't matter what you do it, because everybody's a human and connection with humans is how you drive business and connections. So you utilize stories. It's really easy. And if you have questions about that, I would be happy to show anybody uh, with no obligation at all or any sort of any sort of sales push. How if someone wanted to to take you up on that, how would they do it? Um, you can go to just email me Joe at stepsmarketing.com. Okay. Or just go to my website, stepsmarketing.com and send cool. me a message. Yeah. Awesome. Um, one of the, one of the things that you just now said uh, that really kind of clicked and it brought this full circle is you're you're silly, you're fun, you know, you're you're easygoing, you're kind of fun loving guy, right? And so you post silly, fun loving stuff. Um, you maybe maybe the reason why sometimes I just say love it or whatever is because I post maybe a little bit more serious stuff, and, and it's like I'm I'm. I need to post stuff that that's me. And then I need to respond according to how I would respond, you know, like, yeah, absolutely. So it just makes sense. Like post the stuff that you're pumped about uh, within reason. And, and then that way also you'll be more likely to engage in it. Right. Absolutely. I mean, there's a, something like if you ever do like you, you're a realtor and you'll meet with people and if you're going to do a listing for them, like you're in person a lot of the times and you're selling yourself. Right. So, if they don't like you as a person, they're not going to like choose you for the realtor. And the same way as a social media person, like you can pretend all you want, but I mean, that only goes so far. I mean, you just be you, um, you do you boo. And I think that responding to comments in the way that you would speak, I mean, it's the best way because if people don't want to interact with you, then they won't. 
Um, but I think that by allowing yourself and your own personality to shine, um, you're going to get a lot more genuine and authentic connections. And that's what the most important thing to do here is uh, when in regards to growing your business on social. You're going to build a tribe. Yes. It just clicked. It just clicked. Thanks, Joe. Good. I love it. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So this is the part that I pumped about and it took me 20 minutes to get us here, but, but I hope everybody's with me or, you know, if you're watching us after the fact, maybe I'm going to drop a little like 120 mark so that they can yes. get, because this is where we get tech with this, is where we get uh, technical lo logistics, actionable, what we can do right now and a formula that you've created that we could follow to be successful on social media. Absolutely. I'm really excited about this. Cool. So, I went to your site, curated-social, curated-social, and from the site, you have a lot of really cool stuff, but this is where we're at, right? Like we're going to this. this yeah. It's called the 1051 Daily Social Success Formula. Cool. And there is a no opt-in you just download the pdf directly um, i want to come from a place of value this is something that i've been working with clients for like a decade maybe not a decade with social media but maybe like eight years um but i finally put it into like a formula like an actual written down formula um cool. because i've always told people something like this but just doing this in the last year i've seen tremendous results with very minimal time investment i should say uh, every day on social media, if you want to use this to leverage and grow your business. Okay. So just to prove that this is the real deal, Joe, I, I love this. I love that you're doing this. Like everybody has bought some, most people that's watching this have bought something online, especially if you know, you're really onto Facebook or Instagram all the time. You've, you've landed on some sort of landing page. You just punch in your email address and boom, there you go. Who needs another email, right? I freaking love this. Watch. Click opens. Boom. Yeah, Here it no. is. I didn't have to register. There's no contact information. Like literally you're just giving it away. It's easy peasy. Cause what I always tell people is like, and this is not a pitch for my own content, but I sell daily social content. That's kind of what this curated social does. But the, my point is I'm like, I don't even want you to buy my product if you're not willing to put in the effort to connect to people because that can't be automated. You can't have some robot automatically can like be in your personality and connect to people. It's just not possible. Um, so it's basically like you got to follow this formula and here the whole thing is like digest it, live it, love it. And then if you want, you know, base content, you can pay me for that. But you, you can also do that yourself. It's one of those things where it's like a time saver. But this is the bread and butter. This is the money maker right here. Okay, so I have to post 10 things every single day? Nope, not not posting things. And again, this is about building connections. So this is the opposite. So we talked a lot about posts and like how to share stuff. This mm -hmm. is how to connect to people. So we have a 10, five, and one. So let's just dive it in. Uh, 10, 10 comments. They could be responses to things that you've posted. They could be responses to things that other people have posted. They could be um, comments on businesses. They could be anything, but it essentially is you're getting out there with your brand. You can do this from your business page or your personal page, but essentially it's Joe Dene, it's Jeff Goolsby. We're interacting with people, right? And so it doesn't matter if you're an introvert, extrovert, you can do this from the comfort of your home or your phone. It's just basically, commenting and the reason it's important is two things one facebook and instagram they like it when you do this it's part of being social and it creates engagement the other direction so a lot of times too you can say it's a business say it's like comcast and it's like hey comcast how come my internet's so slow and you can gripe about it it's fine but then maybe some other people will be like hey my internet is also slow Hey, are you in Rockland? Yeah. And it, it kind of goes back and forth and you can have build connections in ways that you didn't even think about. So when I say comments, it's just getting out there and commenting. And so you got to commit to at least 10 of those a day. 
uh, best um, strategy is to do comments on people that you know already because it strengthens the connections you already have. And if you're in a service industry, especially like real estate, mortgage, insurance, I mean, that's, that's like where you make your money is your sphere of influence. So commenting on people you know is going to really strengthen those, um, those connections. And so I always tell people, who, would, who do you think people would normally do, would rather do business with? Someone who posts like really funny content that like, oh, I love this guy's content or someone who actually, actually engages with you and talks to you regularly in some way, like commenting on your social media, sending you a message. Yeah. So does that make sense? Yeah, both. <laughs> yes, but so like when I do this, um, the 10 five, one, the whole thing takes me maybe 30 minutes. So, okay. I think any, any business owner or any business really can take 30 minutes out of their day and make this happen for them. Um, it's something that if you just commit to as a, on a daily basis, you're going to see tangible results. Like I've seen people in like the real estate, we work with a lot of realtors. They've used this formula and they've gotten at least one more appointment a week doing this and that's not nothing appointments turn into deals so yeah. you know that little bit of a time investment i'm not asking people to cold call or you know door knock this is this is fast this is social media so take advantage and mo most people are already there like you're already Correct. there all you have to do is type letters now like <laughs> yes exactly so yeah you're already there you're already scrolling i mean uh, i know a lot of people i've talked to people about what is your daily habits? Like, do you wake up and like check Facebook first thing or Instagram first thing? And I don't know if it's surprising, but I would say eight out of 10 people would say, yeah, that's like one of the first things I do in the morning is check social media. Yeah. So you're there, like things have happened over the night. Uh, maybe you get into work, maybe your first hour, a lot of people have like the little coffee hour, they're getting ready, they're setting stuff up and um, they're gonna peruse social media during eight to nine o'clock. So while you're there already, like Jeff said, start typing letters, just start commenting on things. It's when you start doing it, it becomes really easy and fast. Okay. So I'm going to take this even deeper because I like to, I'm kind of analytical sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. like, do you have any tips or hacks on where to go on social media? Like who should I like build a special list or can I, how do I like get to the, so if I go on my Facebook now, there's a ton of stuff that I don't want to see. I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I don't even know how this ended up there. And I don't need to call, like they don't, I don't know them. They don't, they don't know me. Like there's ads and stuff like that in the way, you know, like do you have any hacks or places that I should go first and foremost, like kind of the highest and best use of my time? At first, um, and people, some people might know this, um, Facebook likes to show you things that they think you're going to interact with, or at least like stop on, um, because it's their part of their algorithm. They want to sell ads and they want to interact with, with those type of stories. So the more you do this and like that first couple of times you're going to scroll and you're going to comment on people you haven't interacted with in a long time, your feed's going to change. You're going to feed, your feed's going to change to more people and less stuff, less news, less third party crap. Um, you're going to get a lot more because Facebook's like, oh, this is what Joe wants to see now is people and because he likes to interact with people. It does change. Trust me. So okay. uh, at, at first, you're going to have to do a lot more scrolling, a lot more commenting, um, but it will change. Um, yeah. And then, you know, you'll have like a, a build up list. And and then when I get to the the message part, it gets even more. So are okay. you ready for five? Yeah. <laughs> wait. Okay, yeah. So 10, five, one every day. The five is messages. Now, of course, since we're talking about social, um, let's just keep there. But I, I always tell people that text messages also count. This is also building a business and your sphere and that sort of thing. But uh, for the sake of this, let's talk about direct messaging. So in another one of my videos, I mentioned that like you should direct message when it's more appropriate to do so. Say it's something personal that someone um, is sharing. So say someone said, their dog is in the vet, um, but they're okay or something. And you can direct messages and they's like, hey, I saw a post about your dog. I just want to check in and see how you guys are doing. Or say someone just ran like a half marathon and you're like, oh, that's so awesome. And everyone is you know, commenting on their post, but maybe you want to dive a little deeper. 
um, you know this person, so send a direct message and say like, that's so awesome. I know how hard you've been working, et cetera. It strengthens these relationships so much more because it's it's one-to-one -one now. So you've moved this comment that's a public comment to a one-to-one -one, and it really helps to solidify and strengthen uh, relationships, like I said. So I, five I messages, uh, good. I just thought of something as you're saying that like, it's not the thought that counts. Like so many times I'll read something that somebody posted and I'll think to myself like, oh man, that's that's awesome. Like, congratulate, like I'm so pumped for that person or right. like, wow, that sucks. I'm sorry that they're going through that or what, you know, whatever it might be. And I have these thoughts, but, but like, just as you were saying this, like they don't like it's, if, unless you speak up and send them a message, um, it's like, you know, I don't know. It's not the thought that counts, right? Like they don't know that you had that thought. Like you have to tell right. them. Right. It's, it's one of those things too. Like, remember you said HBD, happy birthday. You know, it's just like, okay, whatever. That's the way it almost makes you feel. Cause it's like, okay, that's barely even a comment. Um, so like, for instance, like my business coach, Anita uh, Hodges with her birthday was yesterday. I sent her a nice text message instead. You know, it's one of the, cause she works with me and we work together. And it's like one of those things where it's, it's more personal. It's like, yeah, everyone can jump on the bandwagon with comments. And again, not taking anything away from public comments, but the messages is a one-to-one -one. it makes, it strengthens that relationship. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you a question that's been on my mind and this isn't necessarily like a social marketing expert. Uh, okay. you know, this is maybe more like psychology or just like influence, but like, I'll do my best. There's some people that are hurting right now and mm -hmm. that are might comment some, you know, stuff that is painful, right? After, you know, 18 years in the business, we've made the tough decision to put our, to put our business on, you know, to close our doors uh, or, you know, something along those types of lines is really kind of what I'm thinking about right now. I yeah. see those and my heart hurts and I, I don't see, I haven't seen a lot of them. Thank God, like knock on wood. I haven't seen too many in my feed about that, but I've seen a couple and, and, I, and I feel bad and I just, I'm like, man, is that, is that an appropriate thing to jump into a DM about? Like, I, I don't know. I'm struggling with that right now, personally. Yeah, I would say that it, it depends. That's a good, it depends answer. Because, you know, say it's one of your favorite places, I mean, or like a restaurant, you know, I can see that that might happen to a restaurant around this time. Um, you can direct message them. I mean, you know, there's like always that Thing that people say about you never know where opportunity is going to land or something like that there's some sort of saying about opportunity in any case if you like something or, or want to comment something that is more personal like that i say just go for it i mean the, the, what's the worst that's going to happen i mean they're going to be like well yeah. you should have bought more stuff <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah i mean I guess you're I mean, right i mean i guess they they made the effort to post it so they're clearly, I guess, and not, I guess the rule applies for everybody. They made the effort to post it. It's not like I was like, Hey, how you doing? And they said, Oh, I'm doing bad. They posted something. I chimed in with the authentic message and then it, it went, it goes from there, I guess. So it goes from there. It's just, I, you know, again, I work with a lot of mortgage people and realtors and service business type people. And they're always, you know, asking how to, can build connections and do those types of things. And again, this is not like, I want people to take the mindset of like this, is, if I do 10, five, one, I'm going to get more appointments and more sales. If you just take that just a step back and just say, I'm going to make more connections and the connections themselves will yield results. And so just because, and you're not in that, those messages, you never want to sell. If you sell, it kills the authenticity like that. Like you might as well not have done it. Yeah. If you're like, you know, oh, I'm sorry to hear about your restaurant closing. Um, but if you, you know, you're thinking about selling your house, let me know. Yeah. That would be, that would be not so good. That's, that's rude. <laughs> so in the same way, I mean, the messages are always just about strengthening connections. So 
the the opportunity to sell yourself will happen with strong connections 100 percent. okay like even if you were a hairdresser and you wanted to get more clients i mean you that's this is what happens you would can you know you have these connections you message people you comment on people and maybe one day someone's like you know i need a new hairdresser and then so and so that you've messaged before goes oh you know what you need to talk to this person they're they're really awesome you never know where the opportunity is going to strike and again we're not doing this to be greedy we're doing this to build connections because that sales people business people that's what we do uh, and yeah. it's, it's coming from a place of value, not a place of greed. So, <laughs> you know what I love about this, man, is like you you run a social media marketing, you know, web development sales funnel company. And yes. this is just really about how to be a better human on social mm -hmm. media. <laughs> like, that, that's awesome. Like I said, like, the, the takeaway the from it, man, it changes. This is not marketing genius. This is like human, like how to be a better human on social media. Right. All right. Don't be a dick. That's basically <laughs> like the title. Yeah, disconnect. Thank you. Okay, so there is there is some you know we're we're talking primarily to people that are. An, running, you know, businesses and building their brand through social media, right? So prospect. I haven't I yes. haven't read it. It's up on my screen. I need to see. There so the prospect actually might not happen every single day. It is the opportunity. And this is kind of one of those things where like if you're a itself for you to pitch yourself in a respectable and not salesy way then that's where that comes in. So um, I sometimes want to call that like conversation or like kind of like a phone call, like face to face, a phone call, a virtual call, whatever it is. Um, it's a real conversation. So a message is one way, right? It's like, hey, I'm reaching out to you directly one to one. Now, if you're responding to me and we're starting a dialogue, naturally, um, it could be happen that you can pitch yourself uh, and put yourself in a, in a situation where you could gain some business from it. So say, um, Jeff, you, you reached out to the person that is, you know, they're shutting the doors, right? And you said, I am really sorry to hear about that. I uh, really liked your place and, you know, uh, I wish you the best. And then they said, hey, Jeff, I really appreciate that. You don't know how much that, that means to me. Um, you know, I've been seeing your posts and I actually am interested in to see how much my home is worth. And then there, there could be an opportunity. I'm not saying it probably wouldn't happen that fast, but essentially that is where you have to look out for um, having a conversation. And, and I don't want to even call it pitching. It's more like just reminding people like what you do. Like, so just be mindful and be a person and make sure they know what you do um, if it is appropriate. Yeah. So again, how to be a human and a salesperson at the same time. Yeah. Well, because really like we're all in business to serve people. So at the end of the day, I mean, sometimes there's an opportunity that our service would help that help a particular person. So can I package it this way? So, I mean, 10 comments is kind of like top of funnel. Yeah. Five messages is like, there's an opportunity there to, to further connect. And then from those five messages, there's probably a good chance that like one of those will lead to like, hey, that person probably needs to hear more about like what I have to say over the phone. Like I could probably help them better over the phone. Let's have a real conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely yes. the truth. And <laughs> and we do this. I mean, this this applies very well to salespeople, like uh, mortgage people and, and realtors. Um, but again, it can apply to any kind of business. Um, but really, it's just, you know, you have these one to one connections and you start a conversation. The conversation has a high likelihood to turn into a prospect and a prospect turns into a, a close deal. So um, basically, by doing those 10 and 5 equals the one pretty much every day. I mean, if you do this, you're going to see those ones happen a lot more often. And those ones, meaning prospects, um, will yield more business. Um, but it's like, it's, it's hard to, to package this up because you're like, do this every day to get more business, but really do this every day to make more connections. 
and okay. the connections just will yield business. Do you have an idea or a like? So for me, sometimes I'm like, I and I get the like. Sometimes it needs more of a conversation, but there's this awkward like, man, we really started this all out on social, like. Do I just say, hey, you know, I think we should really have a, a comp. I mean, I guess I have, I guess I've done this plenty of times, but anyhow, what's your recommendation on transitioning from social to a phone call and to a prospect? I would, you know, when I tell people like how to do that sort of thing, it, it's, it's scenario based and it's situational. And you really just have to come out with, with the truth too, is be like, Hey, you know, that I, you know, that I'm a realtor and, um, I saw that you mentioned that, you know, you might be thinking of moving, like, do, would you like me to help you consult on your home value or, you know, you just come at it from a place of value, of course, and show them that you can help them. Um, so you just do it. You just jump, jump in. Hey, we should probably have a conversation about this. There's probably a lot more that we could uncover by talking on the phone. Can you give me a call or can I call you? Yeah. And it, and I don't think by doing that, it discounts anything that you've done before with the messages or comments. And it's not usually so linear anyways. It's not like you commented, then messaged, and then you pitched them. It doesn't usually happen that fast. Um, by, and I could, like, I think uh, I could pose a challenge to people watching this is try this formula for one week and let me know what happens. Because I've had people do this and be like, Already, I have two new deals in the pipeline. Like just doing this one week, half an hour a day. It's very simple and it's quick. And I just, I challenge people to do it. It's so simple. And it, all you're doing really is being a human on social media, being social on social media. Yeah. So, I, um, I, yeah. I love that. Um, dude, I, I think we need to drop like, well, we're for sure going to drop your social on here. Um, yeah, anybody that's watching this live or watching it later, let's do it. Like I'm down. Let's make it happen. Yeah. I'm gonna fill out my I'm gonna down I'm gonna print this out. I'm gonna fill it out and I'm gonna do it. I'm excited. I mean, literally in those boxes should just be like big checks or stars. You know, yeah. like stickers. You can just put it up by your desk and just be like, I did it today, boom, done. Yeah. And it, and if you can do it, like I always tell people, you know, do the do your hard stuff in the morning. Like do this from like 8.30 to 9.30, just every day, just blast it out. Or maybe it's 8.30 to nine. Yeah. You know, just, just make it happen. And um, if nothing else, I hope people like learned that there's no, the hacks, the replacing social hacks and funnels with just authentic content and real connections is really what drives business on social media, especially if you're in a service industry like us. Yeah. And, and I think especially right now, too, because people are hyper af aware of bullshit. <laughs> like they, Absolutely. That's <laughs> they know they've been, you know, their their senses are on high alert. We're 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 all a little edgy right now. And I think we can all smell bullshit from a mile away. So I just saw an ad today. It was like. Download my 19 page coronavirus playbook to get more business. And I was like, what kind of garbage is this? Hmm. It's like seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no thanks. Yeah. I mean, all you know, marketing is one of those things where there's marketing and advertising. And I think good marketing is just being out there and selling yourself um, in the best way possible. Selling yourself, being authentic. Selling yourself. Yeah, cool. authentic. Well, we didn't get blown up with uh, with too many questions, but if they roll in, I'm assuming you're down to drop more. Uh, comp you're tagged in this post, so you'll drop more, maybe drop some answers to anybody that asks questions in the future. Um, yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'm going to I'm gonna share this with a bunch of people that I know that are in my database that are you know real estate agents and small businesses um, that I think should hear your uh, your tips so any any kind of parting words before we uh before we end out here um i would just say 10 5 1 every day 10 5 1 every day love it that's probably it all right cool i'll do it well thank you for having me jeff 
been thank you for time. being on, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, happy you're in my tribe. Cool. All right. See you later, man. See ya. I think I'll see ya. I'm going to try to end this. Uh, <laughs> cool. I'm going to gonna stay here until it's done. Anytime. All right.